RUBP molecules over here. Okay? So this is the overall the Kelvin cycle. Please try to understand the amount of carbon atoms that is being uh, harvested over here. Okay? So 12 kelp and each kelp contain uh, each kelp would contain 36 carbon atoms. So uh, from here, six carbon atoms are used to make glucose. So we are le left with more 30 carbon atoms. And from the 30 uh, carbon atoms, that means 10 kelps. Uh, each time, uh, five, a set of five carbons are taken to produce the ribulose. Okay. And uh, so we can produce, reproduce six ribulose over from here. Okay, and we have uh, the supply of 10 phosphates and each ribulose needs a supply of 2 phosphates. So, we have enough supply for 5 ribulose to pr produce 5 ribulose bisphosphate, but we are, we are running short of 2 phosphates and the 2 phosphates are obtained from the supply of 2 ATPs. Okay, so that is the overall process. Now, look. So, what is being uh, done here is that who is helping is the uh, in the Kelvin cycle is ATP, then NADPH, isn't it? So, these are the two things that are required to run the whole Kelvin cycle. Okay? Now, from where does these two things are produced? Okay these two things are produced uh, in the light dependent reactions all right so now let's go to the light dependent reactions okay so i think you were jumbled up with uh, that what uh, the kelvin cycle let me make a summary over here um, okay, so here you have uh, five molecules of R U B P. No, not five, it's six molecules of R U B P. Let me rub it. Okay, so you have six molecules of RUBP 